All right, today is Blackberry, Kiowa Blackberry trim day. And all the Kiowa berries have made, and that's Anna. She wants to be in the, she wants to be in the footage. Um, <laughs> all the um, <coughs> blackberries are made. And so uh, as you can see in here, um, I've cut out the old in here, but here's the old here. I started trimming this out. And this is what started our little canes there and grew berries. You can see the old dead ones. We've got to take all the old out. That, that's what's dead. And then these become our new canes, our primacanes. And you, see, you can see there's two main stalks. And that's what we're going to keep it, two main stalks. And then we have to get off each stalk, we'll take one stalk and we're going to connect it to this wire and run two of these branches, one down each side. Then the other primacane will bring up and have a branch go down each side and secure those to the wire. That will be where our growth happens next year, where our berries. Now once this, like this primacane here, you can see is coming and it comes all the way down. And once it gets past this plant, which it has by a couple, in, you know, a, a foot or so, we're gonna cut it back right here and we'll keep it trimmed short of this on this one and then whatever cane runs this way will run on top of this one this way and again if it gets past it we'll keep it trimmed back just this side of it and those two canes will be our fruit bearing canes on each level and that's what we're going to do today so we'll do a step-by-step -step video you can see these canes laying on the ground here that are and we're going to have to trim some of these off and so we got a clipper and we kind of clean it with a little uh, diluted Clorox uh, water. And I do that between each plant. So, um, but we're gonna trim all this old out all the way down to the ground. Then we'll trim out, figure out our two main primacanes. And then we're going to uh, run them along there. So this should look totally different when we get done, okay? Anna's learning about pruning blackberries. So, this is the old. We're going to take it out. Sticky, sticky, sticky. Sticky, sticky. Say it, Anna. Sticky. Yeah. This looks like it may be new primacane, but it had some berries on it. Hadn't died yet. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it. So I'm not sure about this one. It looks like it may be growth from a new one, so I'm gonna leave that. Um, it's green. It's not dead. I'm not sure if that is old primacane. So I'm gonna leave it. If it dies in the next couple weeks, we'll know to cut it out. Um, so now we're down to the last one to get the old stuff out. And uh, so now we've got to identify the two main pomacanes, which we have. On well, this one, we have two. You're gonna see further down here, we only have one. And there's a way they say you can do that as well. But basically, I need to free up and pick which primacane I want to come up to the top and which one I want to come to the bottom one. And so I think what we'll do. You already have some going, right? Well, um, this one here is at the top. So what we may do. Run it back that way. I gotta see how many you see that's the the top of this primacane. Uh-huh. So I actually need to top that and then take a branch off each side and run it. 
so that's what I've got to figure out here. So actually I need to I need to cut it right here so we can get to it. Ooh, ow, 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 I'm sorry. I'm gonna try to. These things don't cut that, that stuff very good. Do you good. want the big, big ones? Huh? So. That's a primacane. That needs to be trimmed. This one. Is a primacane that needs to be trimmed. Okay, so this is primacane number two. And so, what we have to do is pick. A knife. Let's get a knife. See, this looks like we could take this primacane and run it. And run it that way. Run it that Train way. Train it to go that way. You wanna go ahead and tie it? We can. Okay. Let me uh let and, me get uh, the string. Is it going? Is it recording? It is. Okay. It is. Okay, so we got that one. So once it gets out this far though, we can blind it off, Eric. Right. Well, uh, since there's nothing on this end, we can let it come out a little bit, and then we'll just keep it trimmed off, awesome. and the berries will okay. hang there. Okay. But there's one, okay. and we'll actually probably make this one our second one running that way. Okay, let me get some more tape. Oh. Which means we'll take okay. Get it out. And then we'll take... That limb off, that limb off, that limb off. That, that one's going there. These are off. Is this one off here? That's already cut, isn't it? Yeah. And now, these are our training canes. Okay, and there's already um, green tape, so we can go ahead and. Um, I don't know. I don't know. This has a. Um, they both have them. Never mind. They all really have them coming off as yeah. like, like little suckers. Let's, let's do this, and we'll we'll train that one down that way. Okay. We'll take that off. Okay. It just seems like that's naturally going to lay good right there, like that. Okay. Okay. Okay, and so, um, one two going that way one two will be going that way and so basically these things we're going to let them grow till they grow past the plant about a foot or so and then we'll trim them back to about where it is right here every time let it grow keep it trimmed back okay and now eric do we need to i see this one this primacane here that's our lower wire do we need to trim it closer or trim all that excess off there yeah we'll we'll, we'll just take this off right now I don't think it's going to be, you're going to have to probably keep it uh, trimmed some during the growing season. But really, I think whatever ends up growing here and bushing out would be okay. Well, mm -hmm. now we'll, okay, we'll, we'll tie this. Those. But this is what they should look like. And then during the rest of this, end grow. of this summer and fall, it'll grow out some more. And then be ready for the spring growth. And you instead can see, of like that. Instead of like that. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> and so, that will eat you up trying to pick them. So we want to get them clean and lay them where it's easy to pick. Yeah, the purpose is this gets here bushy, puts all the energy to the plant right here, and then it puts on the fruit all hanging right here. So you can come, you know, some people just do one row up high where they can pick the berries here, but we did two. Yeah. And uh, you can come and pick the berries. They should hang right here. Okay. Let me
a solo primocaine. This one looks like it might be one that's going to become one. A primary. So the question is, yes. a little monkey. since we don't have any branches here, is, is do we just go ahead and let this one continue to grow? She's working. And just use the one primocaine to split off. I think two. I would. I think I'd let that one tie that one up to that branch there. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Hey. Um, and then just use the other one as the... But what, yeah, what we'll have to do is see these, both of these look like they have solo primocaine. So... Can um, you use the main primocaine as the top? You can use the main primocaine for both. But okay. what you have to do is um, take one of these healthy ones down here and run it. Let's see. Okay, now we can identify. Well, let me get the, let me give them some green tape. Stand right there and watch me. Okay, now watch we can me, identify what me, we're doing. Watch me, watch me, watch me, watch me. I got the tape. Where you need me, Eric? Actually. So, in watching the uh, pedals of the past guy that does these Kiowa training of Kiowa berries, they spray a little bleach water, diluted bleach water on their clippers. And so I'm doing it between each plant. And I'm, I'm assuming the theory is to you know, kill any bacteria, anything that might be, so you don't pass it on from plant to plant. Um, and so after each one, I just spray it down, just shake off the excess, and then we're ready to start trimming. But see, we still got a little old right here. Are we not finished with this one here? Are we finished with this one? Yeah. What is it? We got this here, this here, all these uh, this little is, ones. This is, this is going to be tied to there. What's this? Uh, that can get be cut. Uh, and all has, these have to be that, cut, that, right? That can cut that, yeah. And I'm thinking of all these little Yeah. Do you cut the little ones? I do. I come, I'm coming in and cutting all the excess no, off. Can. Yeah, we'll tie I got I got the t the green we'll right here, tie. Denise. Here. Okay. Then, then uh, so as this as these two legs get a little longer, we'll tie these to the to the pole and train them down okay. this way. Okay. You see, here's one. As it gets a little longer, we can pull them down to the run and run them down. Okay. Um, but since this is really one cane, we're taking the bottom longer. That's why those are longer. To train because we're not sure this is gonna be this should be another good cane and if it does we can always trim this off or if this doesn't you know since this is a single cane and we we may be able to mingle this extra cane in with it and have a uh, you know extra growth there on the bottom we can just train it to be on the bottom okay. so this is the other single cane yes this is the other single cane so what I'm gonna do uh, Oh. Well, I just broke that one. That didn't work, so I'll take it off. Broke it. Okay, down to the last one. 
Yep. Last it one. Looks like we're massacring these things. Oh, that, I, really think, I think you're it's, doing it. It's really way. supposed to it do. Looks so much better. It's supposed to. It looks so much Make better. it where it's trainable. Yeah. Instead of this bushy mess. Look how pretty and, and uniform. And is. easier to manage. And it's supposed to put on twelve. I think he. I think he said before it was twelve to fifteen pounds of fruit per plant per vine. Yeah. And so. When you think about that, that's if, if this produces well by trimming it back and we get good fruit production out of that, that's a lot of pounds of blackberries off of this right here. Which, you know, of course, it's going to be bushier and thicker by next year because the spring growth, everything, when it, these runners all are going to be growing out. We're going to have to keep them trimmed back, but it causes the middle part of that to bush out and make all the berries right there. And so all the energy comes up to Primacane right here to the berries, that's it. And when you have all this extra, it would have to try to provide all that to try to make berries. Yeah, that's what we've cut off so far. Look at that pile, man. And so, we got, we're the last bushes here. So we're going to try to identify here what we have. Hold on, hold on. Okay, so now, um, I think this will be our upper one. Okay. Off. Do we have a? Uh, there it goes. So this is going to be our upper one. All right. So, so do we need to get that one undone out of there and get it going this way, or what do you think? Here you go. That looks kind of strongly, doesn't it? Well, it was tangled up in this. Here you go, sister. Yep. Am I going to tie? Well, well you need to tie that, tie that main one back up. I'll tie that. Here you go. You need some more? Yeah, I'll tie it to this. Hold that. We'll run up it. That's it, y'all. So, you saw the before, and there's the after. Ready to be trained and running down the vine. Yep. We're running down the line. So we got two primacane, two, two, one, two, one, two, two, two. That's it. Should we get the bucket and get some more um, mulch to put around them? I can. While we're at it? Or? Yeah, I can. I need to get, I don't know if I've got diesel gas. I may have to run up to the store and get diesel. Okay. Um, that, that's, that's how we're going to do the Kiowas. We'll see how um, it looks so much better. how that works come next spring. So we got another, you know, eight months to go before we see pr produce. Basically, let me think. We picked them a month ago, pretty much. Mm -hmm. End of June, and uh, we're into July now. All right, well, it's time to move on to the next project, which is clearing out the other blackberries. And then uh, probably going to put some mulch on these, some more. Just putting some at the base, just keep them fed and mounded up right there. So, as we always say, a simple life is a much more enjoyable life. So thank you all for watching, and uh, get out the gnats. Yay. So exciting. Mm -hmm.